Hi children, today we are learning large numbers. Here some pictures are given. So, how many sons do we have? One. How many eyes do we have? Two. How many wings does a fan has? Three. How many legs does a chair have? Four. How many fingers do we have for one hand? Five. How many petals does a flower have? Six. How many colors in a rainbow? Seven. How many directions do we have? Eight. How many types of gems do we have? Nine. Gems means Navaratnas. How many fruits in a basket? No. Nothing. Nothing means zero. So, what we are doing here? Here we are counting the objects. Number is nothing but a symbol of quantity. We can write numbers using the digits. Here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are all called digits. We are starting counting from 1. 1, 2, 3 and so on like that. So, these are called counting numbers or natural numbers. And if 0 is included to natural numbers, those are whole numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are called whole numbers. Okay, we can write the number in two ways. The given number is 123. We can write using the digits and we can write using words. So, writing a number using digits is called notation. Here, we wrote 123 with the help of digits 1, 2, 3. And here, I wrote a number name using words. So, writing a number in words is called numeration. Once I repeat, writing a number using digits is called notation. Writing a number in words is called numeration. Okay. What is the smallest one digit number? That is 1, not 0. Why? There is nothing to compare. That's why 1 is the smallest one digit number. And the greatest one digit number is 9. If we add 1 to 9, what we get? We get 10 as a result. Okay. If we add 1 to any number, we get successor of that number. If we subtract 1 from any number, we get predecessor of that number. Here, 10 is successor of 9. By adding 1 to 9, we got 10. Okay, 9 is the predecessor of 10. Here we are subtracting 1 from 10. Okay, if we add 1 to any number, we get successor. If we subtract 1 from any number, we get predecessor of that number. Here, Smallest and greatest numbers are given. So, what is the smallest two digit number? It is 10. What is the greatest two digit number? It is 99. What is the smallest three digit number? 100. What is the greatest three digit number? 999. What is the smallest four digit number? 1000. And what is the greatest four digit number? 9999. Okay. What is the smallest 5 digit number? If you add 1 to 9999, we get 10,000. That is the smallest 5 digit number. Okay. The greatest 5 digit number is 99,919. What did you observe here? Here smallest numbers are starting with 1 and remaining all are zeros. And the greatest numbers only 9s. If they ask you to write the Smallest four digit means you have to write one and remaining all zeros. Okay. Next, if they ask you to write the greatest four digit number means you have to write four nines like this. Okay. Start. Now only we discussed it. greatest five digit number is 99,999. If we add one to that number, we got one lakh. This is one lakh. It is the smallest six digit number. The greatest six digit number is 9,99,999. So, what are the places we learned up to nine, up to this class? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and the new place is lakhs. Okay. The value increases. 
when we go from right to left. Okay, here ones. One into ten, ten. Ten into ten, hundred. Hundred into ten, thousand. Thousand into ten, ten thousand. Like that. The value decreases when we go from left to right. So one lakh divided by ten, that is ten thousand. Ten thousand divided by ten, that is thousand. Like this. Okay, what is the place just right to the thousands place? What is that place? Hundred. What is the place just left to the thousands place? That is ten thousand. Okay. Next, here place value chart is given. That is, it has periods and places. So this is ones period and thousands period and lakhs period. Ones period has ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands period has thousands, ten thousands. Lakhs period has lakhs, ten lakhs. Okay, with the help of this, we can read the number name easily. Okay, according to period wise, we have to keep the commas. Okay, how to read the number? Let us see. Here some numbers are given. Three, two, one, seven, nine. The given number is this. Okay, we have to mention the places. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Up to here, ones period is completed, so we have to keep a comma. So this is ones period and this is the thousands period. These two numbers we have to read at a time. So three to thirty two. Thirty two thousand one hundred seventy nine. I repeat thirty two thousand one hundred seventy nine. Next the given number is six zero five two five six. This is the given number. So first ones tens hundreds. After completion of ones period we have to keep a comma. Next. Thousand, ten thousand. After completion of thousand period, also we have to keep a comma. Next, this one is lakhs period. So, how many lakhs are here? Six. In the thousands period, only one number is given. That is five only. So, six lakh five thousand two hundred fifty six. I repeat, six lakh five thousand two hundred fifty six. Thank you.